Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here. Time to attack Citadel Girlande, or we're gonna finish up the last story missions on A rank in this episode. And this mission is gonna be rather interesting. The things we will have to keep an eye out for are enemy ace commanders and tanks, meaning enemy commanders that have names and tanks that have names, because they are part of the achievements for upgrading our tank and also buying all the weapons. So those achievements won't do much good unless we actually manage to get those people taken out. So, is there a base? Yeah, we can actually just run up with Alicia rather easily. Alright, so let's spawn in them for maximum CP. Let's have Alicia run to the first base, cap that, and then we can just spawn in whoever we want. Can I get to the thing in time? I can't. It's fine. Who are you? You're a Lancer, can't kill you. You're a heavy Gatling gun. I'm not sure if that kills you, but I think a Ragnite round should kill you. That will definitely kill you. Boom. Alright. We'll have another round. Simply because I want to destroy the cover this guy's behind. Because I can't stand cover. Now this Lancer over here. He's a... Alright, there's a tank here. Well, Alicia's gonna be running around. She can easily take care of that. Ain't no problem. Can I get to this in time? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's a trooper standing... Oh, there's a heavy Gatling gun there. I'm not sure if... Uh... Oh, can I, can I hit him from here? That's some accuracy right there. Alright, sweet! Alright, let's move up Alicia. There's even a scout there. Easy peasy. Anything I want to give her. We're going to be taking out a medium tank. Is a damage boost going to be necessary? I mean, it won't hurt. Well, it will hurt my CP. That's what it will hurt, but... Sure, let's give a damage boost to Alicia. Because unless we take out that tank, Wilkins now gonna be blown up. So, go. Good work, girl. Let's take this road. There's gonna be a scout here, though. So, I'm ready up my arms. He's not even hiding. Is it because of the distance? Why does it require so many shots? Oh well, I guess he is actually crouching. Alright, let's do a Rangraza! Rangraza! Perfect. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Okay. Now we do... This? There we go. Blow up the tank. Now there should be one trooper and one lancer in the way of me. That's whoa, no problem. When it gets to when it comes to like finding the enemy uh, commanders and the named guys, that's always something we can sort of do later, like on a later run. We could just focus on getting the good rank now and then focus on killing them later. Of course, if we could do both at the same time, that's good, but I don't really know where all of them are. We'll just keep our eyes open on levels where I haven't explored properly. Okay, so let's occupy this. Let's activate this. Ching, ching, ching. Okay, I have a new strategy. Instead of sending up... Alicia this time we are going to spawn in a Lancer. A Lancer is going to run through here because we've seen how well a Lancer can deal with mines on the Marmota mission so probably going to get Theol or somebody to just come running straight through and take it because it looks pretty open. Looks pretty much for the taking that switch and that camp. Here's what we're going to do. Walter. You're gonna be our guy. 
We know how much you Lancers love mines. They're not even faced. Is that a tank? Right, that's Matt's the cleaner. What? I'll probably miss Walter. What kind of attitude is that? Let's see if we can make it to the switch. If we can't make it in one round, we'll just take out Matt's with uh, with a Lancer. Because once we've taken this, we just need to reach the switch on the other side. And I mean, what the boost that I didn't know actually helps when doing stuff like this is caution. Because caution makes you take significantly less damage from those guns. So if I give Alicia some defense and some caution, I wonder if she could make the run across and actually get there on turn two. Which would be really nice, because, you know, the, the less rounds you have on a mission, the better you've completed it, you know? It just sounds really cool to me. Alright. Can I get this base? It's not really a point to it, I think, but... Yeah, it's mine. All right, say good night. I'm not 100% sure if we'd actually kill that guy before, but now he's uh, definitely dead. All right, Walter has done his duty. Very good. Now let's give our dear Alicia some uh, defenses before she goes off running. We gotta use all our AP if we wanna get there, I think. I think we should ignore most people on the way. And just get to it. And then caution. Caution and defense boost seems to be a very, very good combo. Makes your soldier very hard to kill. Alright. Especially Alicia, who has like Valkyria and Mysterious Body and all of those traits. She's very hard to kill at times. So, let's go. Bum, ba -da bum, bum, bum. Around the trench. Somebody's firing at me. Don't care about you. Or do I? Hey, yeah! Oswald the Steel. Have we killed this guy before? He doesn't seem familiar to me. Uh, what if we blow him up and then snipe him in the head and then run off? Because that wouldn't impede our AP, but it would still mean that we kill this guy. Yeah, that works. Our inbred trait is helping us too. Nice. Okay. Oswald the Steel is dead. Go. We're gonna just take a very direct route here. Perfect. Look at the damage you're gonna be doing. It's almost non existent. Which means we can make it over here. Now, here is what. I need to figure out how to deal with this guy right now. The Citadel cannons are not fierce if you just got some orders on your side, guys. Don't worry about it. No need to use those ladders e either. Maybe there's like a special guy on top though, but... 3 CP, and I gotta kill a crouching guy. Can we do it? Maybe if we manage to activate her Valkyria power. I'm gonna give Alicia an attack boost. And then we are going to be sort of reckless here. We are going to let her health drop below 50. So that her Valkyria powers will uh, wake up from inside of her. How much damage do I do right now? Ooh, wait, I don't actually even need that. I can just take him out in two turns. He's gonna retaliate though. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Turn to uh, Citadel win. Not too bad. Not too bad. My turn, okay? You're gonna die. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Sweet. Alright. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Gimme base. Kaboom. Doors are open, guys. Enjoy.
Sweet! Choo choo! Anybody order some explosives? Oh yeah! Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Yeah! That's some neat stuff. Cordelia awaits you. Yeah, I bet she does. Let's have a trip to headquarters first, because we got a lot of experience for doing that uh, mission there. I want to see what we can do. 80,000, that should be enough to upgrade our snipers a little. I think they're lagging behind a little bit. Yeah, they are. Whoop. Hopefully we can get him even another level. Bada -bing. Okay, what's this? Attack weak spot makes all of one ally's attacks deal critical damage? Wow. I gotta test that out. Alright, sweet. Almost there. Maybe like one more A rank mission and we'll have that. Let's go to the audience hall. She probably has a lot of uh, guns she wants to give us. We just go to the royal hall and she just throws weaponry at us. That's just how we roll. <gasps> Is that for the, taking the out the enemy tanks and getting the tank parts? The excellence in technology! Yay! Alright, here comes the weapons. Check out the decorations tab. Yeah. This is like getting all the tank upgrades, taking out all the enemy tank commanders. Very nice, very nice indeed. I'm happy about that. Let's have a look at the statistics page. It's looking really good so far. I like how this is looking. Did fight for Galandio on two. Uh, we did Silvarius last stand during seven turns. Got us an A rank doing it on seven turns, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go do some various. Last stand. Okay, you're gonna say I'm crazy for this, but I think you can actually do this mission on turn one. I did it on seven turns the last time, but... I have played this a little bit now, and I managed to actually get a kill on Sylvaria round three. I noticed that around three almost possible. I also noticed that round two was possible, but if I had the preparations right, I could do a round one kill. I need Alicia to be up here and attacking her, because apparently you don't need to attack her from behind. You can just run up to her face and hit her with a few good bonuses, like a good few good orders. And as long as you don't die and you can attack her twice with that bonus, she's dead. So I need to get two attacks in on her. So if I send Alicia up all the way, I think I can actually make a one-turn kill. Let's see. Should we gotta give her all the boosts that boosts can be boost boosted? Uh, which might take a while, so I'll skip that. There the double movement buff kicks in. That's really good. This tank does way too much damage to me as I run past it though, doesn't it? Okay, but I, I have a feeling I maybe should switch to the A20 because it has a lot more firepower than this one. I'm a weapon. No, a shield. Perfect. Alright, check this out, check this out. Uh. Headshots. Yes, it worked! Oh my god! Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Turn 1 win! That's an improvement from turn 7 win! Wow, okay. That was fun. I love it when my strategies work out like that. 
It was just a bit dependent on getting that double movement at least once. Nice. Okay, that was fun. That was really fun, that makes me smile. Diverting the Marmoda. Ooh, I got a D rank on this, the worst rank I've ever gotten. This is gonna be interesting to see if I can actually make it good. I guess that I just have to blow up the right kind of rocks. And I'll just... Let all the other soldiers just die on me. I don't need them. Like, Sokka and stuff can just get blown up. It's just a pain. Don't need ya. Just gonna have the Edelweiss. Almost there now. So close, 6,000 XP and we can have all classes. Level freaking 20. Ah, it's pretty rad. Pretty super rad. Yeah, I was considering switching to the A20, but then maybe I wouldn't have been able to hit her head as well. That's a real possibility. Alright, I'm very happy with that win. Okay. Let's have a look at this map. Okay, so I've activated two Ragnar crates right there, which should block him from ever entering that area. And now we wait. Alright, end of turn two. Well, I've blown up those rocks and the Marmota is slowly headed this way. This time I'm just gonna blow up the necessary rocks, so I take it I'll blow up something here and then just try not to die. Okay, so the Marmota is slowly chasing us. I still don't see how this is gonna be completed in time. And I'm gonna head down the road here to take out these guys, because that Lancer is the only thing that can really make me fail this mission. I don't know if I have the range for this, actually. That's okay. Because I wouldn't be able to kill him with this either way. So let's just go for a uh, Ragnite round. Actually, there's more chance of me hitting if I do this. Yeah. There we go. Now a Mortar should be able to wipe him out next round. And somehow we're going to be able to do this. Like, how are you going to do this? I mean, it's turn four. I can't make the Marmota go any faster, can I? This is going to be one of the maps I'm going to look up a strategy for. Because I don't understand how it works. Unless I can do it now, of course. That guy's strong, man. Alright, so. Chick, chick. Should be no troops left, so I don't have to worry about a lot. Hey there, mister. Do I have any more shrapnel? Yes, I do. Good night. Okay. Now we'll just drive through all the shrubbery and blow this, these two things. Okay, so it's turn five. I've only destroyed the Ragnite containers around each of the places that I don't want it to go. I have made sure the Edelweiss is not in the line of fire. And now... I should be pretty set. I mean, this... I can't do it any better than this. Maybe this isn't ranked on turns, but rather how many Ragnite crates you blow up. Meaning I shouldn't blow up two at each intersection. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. This says that the wind condition is like eight turns. So, this is good. That's an A rank, but didn't I do seven turns to... No, wait, how many turns did I do the last time? That was more, wasn't that 12? I must have done a lot more the last time. I can't remember, but yeah, that's, that's how you do it, basically. I figured it out by myself, I just had to like double check that that was actually the conditions. And it was, so now we have that on A rank, which is good. Next one should be the diff- oh no. The Bridge to Hope, Breaching Jaeger's Blockade. This one is gonna be interesting. This one kind of scares me a bit. Because what I did the last time was that I took out all of the camps before I took the tank, which was apparently not the way to go. So I guess I just have to like go all out attack his tank. I have to find some sort of strategy. Come on! Good. Okay, so we're 
Congratulations! You soldiers worked long and hard to become what you are today. True elites. As Galia's finest, you're all fit to be called heroes. Her Highness even has a medal for you. Lieutenant Gunther, you shared in your soldiers' struggles. Now you've brought up a fine squad. I tell you, you're one fast learner. You've mastered a lot of what it takes to command. I take no small amount of pride in having trained you soldiers these last few months. Now I join the rest of Galia in asking you all to go out there and fight for our future. Unlike the rest of Galia, I've seen what you soldiers can do. I will be sleeping easy. All glory be to Galia! May the Valkyrer keep you soldiers! And know that if you do lose out there, I'll be waiting here to kick your sorry tails! Good to know. Good to know. Let's go to the audience hall and receive our medal. Yeah. Nice. I'm still missing a few orders though, I think. I'm not 100% sure how to get all those last orders. Excellence in leadership. Yeah, and guns. Okay, so next up is the bridge to hope. What, well, is Sister Cordelia awaiting me? But I just went there. What, is she, what, what does she want? There we go. The Golden Wings. Okay, now let, let's have a look at this medal. We're starting to get the medals, guys. 20 medals and we'll have completed the game fully. Decorations and celebrations. Golden Wings, level 20. Okay, yeah, this is the excellence in leadership. There we go. That's the orders. This is the, oh, that's so cool. Alright. Look at the statistics here. As you can see, uh, uh, we've done some fights here really well, like Nagyar, Gerlandio, Silvara's Last Stand. Now it's all about breaching Jaeger's Blockade. We did that in 8 turns, which was a C. Maybe a A rank is going to be 6 turns? Maybe, no, in less than 6. 6 seems way too much, like... got to figure out a way to blow him up without taking all of his camps. Penetration seemed very powerful. This one requires some rethinking, because if I go all out fire at him, I won't be able to destroy him on turn 2 and he will get new armor on turn 3, which will be very difficult to get down. So what I'm thinking right now is that I need to prevent him from using the camp on turn 2. And the only troop who can reliably get over there and stop it is going to be Alicia. So we'll send up Welky Welks. And I need to figure out how to distribute my CP this first round between playing as Welkin and also playing as Alicia and managing to take the base. If I place a Mortar in the middle of the base, I can blow the two people away from the flag and Alicia can take it, meaning he won't be able to heal. Meaning he'll have to retreat to the base over to my left, so I should drive over to that base to prevent him from using that. That could be something. Yeah, I like that plan. I actually like that plan a lot. Because I want to have a turn 3 win, damn it. It might be turn 5 to get A rank, but I want turn 3. So, there's a Lancer here. So, if we do a little bit of... Kaboom. That didn't hit the Lancer. Oh well, Alicia has means to deal with those people, grenades and stuff, so... Kaboom. Okay, is there anybody who can fire up my butt right now? Not that I know of. That's gonna be pretty difficult. Well, this guy from this angle... Could he? We're gonna take a chance. 
Alicia. I'm gonna see how many rounds Alicia is gonna need to do this mission. Just gonna run straight across, try to avoid as much fire as we possibly can. Ah. Uh, yeah, get me the halfway health and I'll just become a Valkyrie, so screw you. Should have healed there. Damn it, why didn't I think of that? Turn, okay? Still really bad at that. Uh. Hey guys. I didn't know you were in here. Should probably take out you. Perfect. Hmm. Alright. I'm ready to take this base. I wasn't expecting that heavy fire. I'm a weapon. No, a shield. Yeah, I wanted that bonus to activate, but I don't want that guy to actually kill me. That's the difference here. Okay. Hey, Lancer. Enjoy. He's still inside the base, I'm pretty sure. So I gotta kill him and take the flag. I don't think it ma- I don't think Jaeger can take back a camp alone. He'll need men to do that. Nice. So this should work in let me get... A fast kill. Turn three kill. Alright. And we'll end. There we go, now we can't use this t this camp to heal, the other camp I have occupied. So he should be kind of scared. Uh oh. Lupus is coming driving over to this base over here. Yeah, he's not able to enter the base. That's very good, because usually on turn 2 he would now be in the base, getting ready for a pierce the next turn, but since he is not inside the base, that makes it so I can damage him and he won't be able to heal and I can destroy him in time. Wendy. I guess you can't retaliate from there. There. Careful. They like to snipe my troops, I've noticed, from the rooftops, which is kind of problematic. Which is probably why Rosie died so early. So I placed Rosie further in the back to prevent any casualties there. Have some shock troopers on the front lines. Yes! It wouldn't have been, like, the end, like, the, the world wouldn't end if she died, but... Oh, damn. Wendy, be careful, girl. Not good. But it's nice that she's alive, because that means that... They'll have to use an extra turn to kill her. There we go. It's fine. Actually, it's one less CP. Which isn't fine. But there's nothing I can do for her now. I am quite aware of the camp's uh, functionality. I think Jaeger is right here. Oof, there we go. That was... Uh, Barely. Entering combat. This smoke is making it very easy to see. But I can see enough. Okay, let's see how this works out. Because now... Fire. We're gonna be able to damage him quite significantly. And he has no way of actually healing. Next is gonna start heading down the street probably to heal, so we need to be ready for that. All good. Now I have one CP left. What am I gonna do with that CP? Probably nothing. Lupus armor is almost taken out. So let's end the phase here. He's stopping right there because he wanted to try and get a shot at my butt. That's very good. It's very good. I kind of wish I had an engineer, though, since so I can fix myself up a little. I'm starting to take very heavy damage. Wendy! Aww. Oh. Well, sort of to be expected. Just lay there, okay? Just be careful. There might be some troops advancing on you. 
Or maybe just tanks. Take him out, guys. Don't let him reach Wendy. There we go. Shoot. Edie. Are you even paying attention? Kill. Good. That's pretty typical of my troops. Just bring them down to like 1% health and then just stop. That's how we do. Don't fail me now. Where's the lupus? He should be right here. Okay. Enemy sighted. Can I do this now? Can I do this now? It all comes down to this. Can I get a turn three Jaeger kill? How many shots do I have? One, two, three. Okay, I have a few more shots. I'm not sure. I would need three more shots to kill him. I don't know if I have three more shots. Two. I have exactly three more shots. Oh, turn three kill. Turn three kill. What you know about a Jaeger? Uh, uh, uh. What you know about a Jaeger? Uh, uh, uh. That was nice. I I managed to prevent him from use camps by being a total bully and harassing him a bit, so that's all good. Boom. And of course, the finishing blow. Alright, this one took forever, but I'm glad we got it in the end. Excellent. Operation complete. Breaching Jaeger's blockade. I'm not running outside. And we'll view this cutscene and uh, skip ahead, because now we are at the final chapter of the game. Exciting! Shadow of the Valkyrie. And the first mission where we're gonna be uh, destroying the lands, I got this on A before, so it's not gonna be a big problem. Tiki tiki, Marmotus end. We can do that pretty much. Let's jump in and uh, get set up with some Lancers on top. Alright, so it's turn two, and I pretty much lined up the kill, actually. What I figured out is that I only need one Lancer up here, and Largo has the Thymer, uh, the Royal Thymer, which does an insane amount of damage, and it can kill the Valkov in just a few turns, if we give him the Penetration Boost. I tested out some different boosts. Demolition Boost isn't really worth it, but Penetration works really well. It makes you kill it about, like, twice as fast as normal. So, we're gonna do a turn two Valkov kill. You just run up a good Lancer here and make sure that he's resupplied by either using a command, his own ability to resupply, or just an engineer, which I did. I figured out that, like, when Homer takes damage and gets below half health, like uh, you remember Alicia does, he doesn't become a Valkyria. But he activates an ability called Masochist. <laughs> He's like, oh, woe is me. He's very strange. Like, I feel slightly uncomfortable being around Homer. So, yeah. It's not a tank, it won't help. Alright, let's finish this thing. And say goodnight, Valkov! Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Wow, that feels good. Operation complete. A rank. Alright. Now we have the final showdown. I think we've got a B on this, so we can get an A too. It's uh, just a method of um, mid doing it alright. I'm gonna have to experiment a little bit here. Alright, we move out the advice. Uh, and. The Edelweiss took out the thing, um, the tower in the back, which was armored. And now Mika is going to take out these two towers on the side, since he's a metalhead and works well with the Edelweiss. Then we're going to assault Maximilian relentlessly. I'm unsure if any orders are going to make us more powerful. 
That's something I'll have to kind of experiment with, and I'll do that right now. Give some different orders to Welkin and see if I can blow Maximilian up earlier. I didn't find any orders that really gave me a boost that I felt was worth it, so we're just gonna like hit him a few times with more tars until he rages out. Okay, so two normal towers, one armor tower. Is this a normal tower? Yeah, that's a normal tower, okay. Start with... Mm, uh, Mika. There we go, I want the backup of the Edelweiss here. Boom. Take that out. And I also want to take out the other tower. Ah, okay. That was a dangerous thing I did there. But it succeeded. Okay. Let's go, Mika. Got this. What? Oh, he only fires a few... Damn. His gun can... Wow, that's that's scary. Okay, let's uh, let's hide Mika behind here. Taking out two of the towers, one more. Tower taken out. And now we go for Max. Give him a few shrapnels to the face. That was almost a kill. I'm sadly at a CP now, I think. I have one CP. Taking action, sir. Can I do it? Mika! You got this. Finish this. Turn two, kill. Turn two, Maximilian, kill. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. That is wonderful. It's over. Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Sweet. Well, guys and girls, we have done it again. We have completed every story mission. This time on A rank, and you know what that means, we can now move on. Next up we're gonna do all reports on A rank, plus the brand new report with Princess Cordelia. So tune into the next episode, when we continue this amazing game, and our journey to 100%. After that we have the different trials, we have the DLC, we have the hard mode skirmishes, we have a lot of difficult challenges ahead, but I'm sure that with enough time and with enough skill, we're going to do this. So take my hand, and let's jump. Together! Here we go.